Sega's financial reports came through, and they have huge news to share that could possibly change Total War forever. They announce a change in strategy to move over to what they call Super Games, and have that be the focus going forwards. A Super Game is something that is played over and over again, growing in its player base over time with help of patches and DLC. The closest to a super game CA has ever made comes with the Warhammer trilogy. Games that get better over time. Sort of like Paradox. CA's games before would boom, then dip, and then slowly die off. Whereas Paradox games don't have much of a boom or a dip, but rather people join on over the years and its player base grows up over time and it gets supported for years and years for example europe universalis 4 released at the same time as rome 2 rome 2 did incredible with launch day sales even though it did not turn out to meet expectations however eu4 is still getting regular patches and dlc that excluding the latest one, are still good and played. So what does this mean for Total War? This means a focus on bigger games, and long-term support. Likely this also means trilogies. This coming with the latest Three Kingdoms announcement does make sense. So it is likely there will be a Three Kingdoms 2, which builds upon the last. And the next historical, possibly Medieval 3, may in fact be called something else, and the start of a new Medieval Trilogy, which has already been discussed on this channel. The good news is, in theory, games will be better, receiving more support. Game 1 launches as a focused project, Game 2 takes all of the feedback, and then expands it out, and then Game 3 takes all the feedback again, uses new technology, and pushes it as far as humanly possible. You may not like this strategy, but it is working, and people, for the most part, are liking it. There should also be a clearer divide, and more certainty about what is coming next. It also likely means either an end or a cutback to the sagas which I think would be the right call. The bad news is it's leaning more towards paradox. At the end of the day though, what would you prefer? Are you willing to pay more for quality? Now CA showed a lot of their financials and yes these are big numbers being made from Total War alone, but when you look at what paradox makes financially, they absolutely humiliate CA. The Total War franchise gets more sales, more people buy the game, and yet Paradox makes four times as much as they do. Imagine selling more copies at a higher price, but making four times less. That's the Paradox DLC system for you. They even talk about their remaster strategy, I think this is basically saying that their plan is to make remasters and use them for reboots, which is what I theorised about six months ago. Remaster Rome, remaster Medieval 2, to build up hype and support for a Medieval 3, or now a Medieval Trilogy. Overall, comment down below what do you think. I think it's good news, but I know it's going to split people. At the end of the day, it comes down to this. CA is losing against Paradox, and losing hard. They, in their eyes, need to change. Overall, are you willing to pay more for higher quality games? Or would you prefer to pay less, but for lower quality stuff? Let me know. Leave a like if you enjoyed or learnt something. I have been Mount Corbett for now. Melgon. Mm -hmm.